All right, all right, guys, I'm back. I just needed a little bit of water. Some time to think about this. So, um, yeah, uh, where was I? Yeah, I was starting to make this. Uh, let's select that. Grow it. You know what? I don't. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. So I'm just gonna delete it. If you don't like something, you gotta learn to delete it. And uh, then I'm gonna bridge this, and uh, I'm going to ring and connect it through the center. And then I'm going to inset this part, and uh, not care if it gets all botched up. And then I'm going to bevel it out. Perhaps not that much inset. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's looking nice. It's looking okay, but I'm only going to need to edit this model a little bit. A little bit. I think I'm feeling that these spike too much out. And, uh, whoa, some issues here. These, the ring itself isn't big enough. I think. And this is null flattened out, so uh, let's do that. Now, let's go back into it and uh, then bevel this, see how it turns out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm liking the shape, I'm liking the shape. It gives me sort of a interesting curved shape, like uh, with, with the headpiece. So I'm, I'm gonna stick with that. And then I'm going to uh I'm gonna inset this part right here. Like so, and uh, I'm gonna sort of scale it towards the middle and scale it sort of flatter. So this is where I could have sort of a gem piece uh in in, in the model. So this is where I don't care if it looks like a destroyed piece of work right there. Well, I guess I guess I'll always kind of care, but I'll try not to. Yep. That's, uh, that looks better. I like it. Yes, I think I do. Yeah. Let's keep that. Let's keep that. Now, uh, we're going to symmetry it just yet. Now I'm going to turbo smooth it first. Yeah. Uh, never mind the graphite modeling tools. We'll get into those in another tutorial. So now it's gone about. F uh, I'm not sure how long I've been going for actually. I wasn't away for long to get the water, so shouldn't be too far behind on schedule. Ring and connect these. And. Uh, What I'm doing here is just tighten up the corners that uh, that I want to be tight. Oh, and uh, mostly, I just mostly want all the corners tight, basically for this model because uh, I want it to look like it was produced, like it was cast in iron or in bronze or silver. Probably not silver. That'd be it's a little too soft metal for that. Silver sword, silver axe. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is that I'm just applying the the edge rings, applying all the edge rings as fast as I can, like so. And ring this, connect it. Now I'm trying not to do this stuff too fast because I've had I've made some tutorials before and people are like oh, I can see what you're doing so I'm trying to sort of keep my composure and try to click all this stuff usually I just use this with hotkeys but people seem to forget if I don't use the hotkeys for it or if I use the hotkeys for it now there is no standard hotkey for it you just have to set it up so I can't really tell you the hotkey Now let's apply the turbo smooth modifier to it and see how it turns out. 
Yeah, yeah it's interesting, but it's uh, not all what I want. I want this to be a little bit sharper. I want it to be spiky. Kind of, so... Uh, oh. Soft selection again. Stupid shit. Ring that and uh, connect it once. I'm not doing this twice, so... That means that pinch is not affected. And uh, connect it like so. Ring. Connect it like so. So let's see what that looks like. Now you can see when I model for turbo smoothing specifically, a lot of sort of uh, precision that I had in the last tutorial sort of dissipates because uh, I'm not really looking to get that. The turbo smoothed result is the important result. So that's, that's what I'm looking to get. Now I'm going to symmetry this along the z-axis to get the uh, top and bottom equal. And uh, after that I'm going to affect the pivot and center it to the objects and then I'm going to reset the x-form. Now the x-form just resets scale values. So you, if you scale your object it doesn't get all wuggy. There, yeah, that, that looks nice. Looks okay. Let's uh, let's put it down here as well. So that means uh, basically zooming in on this part right here, looping it, and just control backspace it, and. Uh, Select the move tool, hold down shift and move it. Put on angle snap, rotate it 180 degrees. Like so. Move it further down. And then we're going to select uh, this part, connect it twice. Slide it out like so. Move it. Be wary of where you move it underneath here so you don't move it off the edge. Extend this like that part and move this further in. Great, that looks nice. And then we're going to uh, make the ripples again that I deleted because I didn't I like the way they were made. So uh, let's have some thicker ones, say eight. And we chamfer these by two, by one, by that much. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good distance. And then we uh, go into the side view and uh, we select all the sort of large polygons in the middle here. Zoom in on them and uh, we want to extrude them by local and normal. In fact, In fact, in fact, in fact, I want this part and this part as well. See, sort of fits in there. That's nice. I like that. And we're going to accept that. Then we're going to. Uh, Go into the side view again, or I guess, yeah, the side view. And we're going to select all these. Oh, we don't care about the ones that are underneath there. Just going to select the ones that we can see properly. And, uh, yeah, no, I guess we're going to select these guys as well. Oh, control C. Never mind what I said earlier. 
and we're gonna start uh, adding uh, the support edges for turbo smoothing, which is what we're here to do in this tutorial, really. This I, I'm not really what I'm showing here is mostly workflow. You know the workflow because showing the turbo smoothing the way it works is really fast, but the workflow is uh, what takes time to learn. Oh, don't mess with that. And uh, so once I get my workflow, once you get your workflow going, that's that's when you can start to look at the design and, and and all that kind of stuff. So right now I'm just showing you the workflow, and I, and I I recommend you to copy what I'm doing. Like I said in the last video, when you're learning the tools and when you're learning all this stuff, copy. Just copy because if you're trying to think about designing something yourself, hey, I'm not saying that you can't. I'm not saying that you can't. You can definitely do that. But it's easier to learn the tools if you're not focusing on that. If what you're focusing on is uh, uh, only learning the tools of, of modeling. And what I'm doing here is that I've selected these lines and I'm going to extrude the lines. Now you haven't seen me do this before because I, I usually don't use it, but what it does, it sort of creates a, 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 a chamfer, but the other way around. And uh, it's, it's, it's nice, it creates some fun effects. So, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, we're gonna see how this looks in turbo smoothed mode. Not, no, not yet. Not yet. I'm not ready for that yet. I'm just gonna select uh, this part, and then I'm gonna no. Select this part, grow it, shrink, 